Hey guys, what's going on? Crow Murder 15 here with a brand new show called Crow's Nest. Now, what's this show about? Well, basically what I'm going to be doing every week is I'm going to be taking a topic of, I guess you could say geek-related culture like comic books, anime, video games, that sort of thing, and talking about it uh, just for a couple of minutes, uh, giving what my viewpoint is on it, and then taking a few minutes and taking out comments that you guys leave in the comment section below, whether it's on here or Facebook, and reading out your comments and kind of just giving my feedback on those. And today's episode, I already have the topic picked out, but in future episodes, what I want you guys to do is pick a topic for us to talk about here on Crow's Nest. So whenever, if you have an idea for something, leave them in the comments below. And like I said, I'm going to try to do this about maybe every week or so, probably around releasing an episode every Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to at least try to. Now, before I get started with today's episode, I want to set out a couple of ground rules. Number one, while I appreciate everybody's opinion, whether it's positive or negative about the subject at hand, please try your best to make it constructive criticism. I don't want any type of comments that basically say, oh, this and this sucks because it's this, or, you know, something like that. You know, try to keep it a little, you know, educated and try not to be a flaming troll. That's all I'm asking. And the second thing is, along with that, I don't want any talk about politics, racism, anything negative towards anybody else in the comments section. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Let them have it. So, without the little nitpickings out of the side and everything, let's go ahead and get on today's topic, which today's topic I picked because I'm a huge, huge fan of this, is Dragon Ball Super. Now, Dragon Ball Super is a brand new Dragon Ball series that's coming out in July 2015 in Japan, and it is being overseen by Akira Toriyama, and it's supposed to follow right after the second, or the newest movie, which is Resurrection of Frieza, and it's supposed to completely ignore GT. Now, whether it's supposed to be actually following after just the Majin Buu saga in Dragon Ball Z or after Resurrection of Frieza, I'm not 100% sure. So, this could either happen right before Battle of Gods happened or right after Resurrection of Frieza. Either way, I'm really, really excited about this because it gives for brand new storyline arcs, um, brand new ideas for characters, and it's just going to be really, really cool in my opinion. And the fact that Akira Toriyama is actually taking his time, and, you know, overseeing the project, actually wrote out the official storyline for the project, is absolutely amazing. Now, I'm not 100% sure what this new series is going to entail. I do know that it is going to involve all the old Dragon Ball Z characters, as far as I know. Um, some things that I personally would like to see out of this series. Um, I know this is going to kind of sound weird because Goku has been such an important part of the Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z saga. But I would like to see a focus on another character and not mainly on Goku. I mean, I know Goku's technically the main character for the series, but put a little more focus on somebody else. That, and I would like to see somebody that's stronger than Goku. I'd like to see storylines where there is a secondary character, not necessarily a villain, because we've all seen that. We've all seen a villain that is stronger than Goku, and Goku has to train up and beat him. You know, that's the basis. But I want to see a character that May, remains a little more stronger than Goku for a good amount of time. Like, a good example um, of this was in the Dragon Ball Z Cell Saga. Whenever Piccolo fused with Kami, and was technically the strongest character on the show at that time, fighting off the first form of Cell. I want to see a little bit more of that. And, you know, some new transformations may be cool. Um, maybe throw in Super Saiyan God if this happens after uh, Dragon Ball The Battle of Gods. Or maybe even finally seeing uh, Vegeta turn Super Saiyan 3. We don't know. And there's also the possibility of seeing Super Saiyan 4 in this series. Because technically in this series and overall, and I don't know if it's just my opinion or if this is canon. Don't quote me on this. GT is not canon. So Super Saiyan 4, as cool as it is, does not exist technically. But... There's just a lot of things, there's a lot of potential for this series, and I'm just really happy that like after 18 years, we're finally getting a new Dragon Ball series. 
So, what are your guys' thoughts? Are there any characters that you want to see return? Are there any ideas for new characters that you want to see? Are there any storylines that you guys are particularly interested in that you'd like to see in this series? Leave them down in the comments below, whether you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook. And also, make sure to leave your suggestions for another topic for Crow's Nest here down in the comments below, along with your opinions on today's subject. So, other than that, I'm going to wrap things up. So this is Crow of Murder 15, signing off.